Hello folks and thank you for joining us today. Today I want to talk a little bit more about Luther Standing Bear and my relationship with him. So uh, first a little bit about Luther. He was born in December of 1868, died February 20th, 1939. There is an exhibit with uh, Luther's things in the Crazy Horse Museum in South Dakota. Um, a little bit about him, and by the way, a lot of his history is on Wikipedia if you want to study more, plus he has books that are out. After he returned to Pine Ridge in 1905, Standing Bear was chosen as a chief of the Ogallala Lakota on July 4th, 1905. There was a great celebration. Then this is Luther talking. In different places, they started to sing songs of praise for me. Frank Goings, the chief of the Indian police and interpreter for the agency, had brought the boys' band from the boarding school with all of their instruments. In between the Indian songs, the band would play. I then started giving away things I had brought along. I kept this up until I had given away everything I owned. And my wife and I walked away with practically nothing. We figured that we gave away that day about $1,000 worth of goods ourselves, not counting all the presents that had been donated uh, to be distributed. A chief receives no salary and at gatherings it is up to him to see that everything is done properly. We have no more war councils but if a commissioner is sent from Washington to make any sort of contract with the tribe it is up to the chief to be present and investigate the matter. That is the law among the Indians. It is a great honor to receive the title of chief but there is much hard work about it also. So it, later in 1905 he moved and uh, moved off the reservation and brought a property in Sioux City, Iowa, where he worked. And then after a while, he moved to California. He wanted to seek full-time employment in the motion picture industry. And um, he, he didn't like the portrayal of Native Americans in Hollywood, and he wanted to push so that only Native Americans would portray Native Americans. In 1926, uh, along with other Indian actors. He created the War Paint Club in Hollywood, and 10 years later he joined Jim Thorpe in creating the Indian Actors Association to protect the rights and the characters of Native American actors from defamation and, and ridicule, which was so common. Now, he did write four books, My Indian Boyhood. This is a 1931 first edition copy. He wrote Stories of the Sioux and other books as well. And um, during his time in Hollywood was when he meant, it was when Luther met uh, Sheowen Miller, or she would have been Virginia Miller at the time, who was my wife's mother. And um, they danced together. We have images of their, their time dancing. Uh, and you know, many of it were, many of these were traditional Lakota, Plains Indian type garb that they would wear during the dance troops. So uh, apparently Luther trusted Shio in quite a bit and he eventually d adopted her as his own. He gave her the name Shio Win, which means bird woman and she kept that name lifelong. Uh, Shio Win had many other contacts with Native Americans. She had, and these were, this was mostly through the dance people that she knew in Hollywood. She, um, she met Juanita and Luciano, or one of them, I think, um, Juanita in Hollywood and she wanted to go back to the reservation and, and live and Shio went with her for a while and wrote a story about it called The Winds Erase Your Footprints. So this is uh, Shio's telling of Luciano and uh, Juanita's story of life on the reservation during the depression. It's a, it's a fascinating story. I have photos that I wish were included in the book that shows them near their Hogan and shows uh, Shio in with the children, Shio in with Luciano. Luciano was a silversmith, he tried to make his money that way during the Depression, doing the traditional Navajo silver working. And I have some interesting group pictures, so hopefully one day in a future printing of the book, some of these photos can go into it. In any event, um, the, um, the images that I want to show today have Shio, in her dance costumes, and here's some interesting ones where she was dancing. You'll see some close-ups of these on the screen. And we have pictures of young Luther, okay, 
and Alder Luther. And this one may be, no, it's a different image, but this is how some of those old images were taken. These are glass images. This is one that says Luther Standing Bear and then Holt. I presume Holt was the photographer. And we're going to try to get some prints. We had a few of these at one time. I'm not sure what happened to the others. And um, another image of Luther. You'll see a close-up of that. This is a, I like this one a lot. This is Shio next to Standing Bear, posing obviously. This would have been 1939, 37. Okay, because Luther died in 39, so this would be in the 30s sometime. This is one of my favorite ones. Shio on the left, and then Standing Bear. So, when Standing Bear died, Shioin was uh, given, actually I don't know if it was before he died or not, but Shioin was uh, given possession at some point of the sandals, the, 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 excuse me, the, be the beaded moccasins, and the robe, which is now in Crazy Horse Museum, and the pipes and a lot of the photography, and um, because he trusted her. So apparently he uh, entrusted her to take care of his publications too because her name was uh, listed in some of these editions as the copyright holder. In any event, that's an extra bit of the story about Luther Standing Bear, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you're at Crazy Horse Museum, you'll have a chance to see the moccasins in the robe up close. And until next time.